it's gonna be a long weekend and a long beginning of next week. I'm really, really trying my hardest to be optimistic and to look on the brighter side of things. I have to get ready for work. I go in at 9 this morning. It's like 7.30 right now. But I go in at 9 this morning. And um, I'm not sure when I get out. Usually it would be around maybe 4 or 5, somewhere around there roughly. But I told them if they needed anybody extra tonight, then I would gladly stay. And I think they might because somebody had asked me previously if I could stay a little bit later. And I'm going to take every opportunity I can to earn a little bit of extra money. So if I stay later, I won't be getting out to maybe around 7 or 8 o'clock. That's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Um, I'm very familiar with working long hours. So, it's no big deal to me. I am trying to hustle extra money as fast as possible, as quickly as possible, as much as possible to make up for lost income I have to use to repair my car. So, yeah, let me get ready for work. I just have to change my clothes and put my hair up in a fancy monument fun thing. There we go. I'll look okay, I guess. I'll catch something to eat later. I really should eat before I go in, but I really don't have the time right now. All the kids are wide awake and full of energy. So, yeah. So I'm back home and it was really slow at work, mostly because um, we had another place open, another uh, store open, a new, pizza, uh, a new pizza place that our company actually owns. So um, we were dead. We were freaking dead. But um, I was really counting on the extra hours and the extra money today, but that's okay because I think with everything that was going on these past few days. I think a little bit of break, a little break, wouldn't hurt me at all. I managed to get in some exercise. I've been kind of slacking in that department because I didn't want to um, overdo it with my back. So I went out for one mile instead of just two. I did one mile. And I'm kind of feeling it just a little bit in my lower back. But it doesn't, it doesn't really hurt. It's just more like, you know how when you have something that you haven't used for a while and it gets that little tenderness when you go to stretch it and use it. Um, it's kind of like that feeling before. Um, I don't want to use the word atrophy. It's too strong. It's not that extreme, but it's somewhere along those lines. Um, tomorrow, we do have a free pizza dinner because of the place opening that I just told you about. Um, they have their official opening Monday, but they have their cold openings this weekend and all the employees of the parent company get you know free pizza for the weekend so I had to RSVP my family we're gonna go tomorrow night and get free personal pan pizzas for everybody and it's called pizza five I don't know if anybody else has that where you live but um, our parent company owns it so you get free pizza um, um, they have healthy options too it's kind of like where I work currently, only instead of burgers and fries, it's pizza and everything's done fresh and every, there's tons of healthy options. So we're going to go check them out tomorrow. I do work tomorrow too, but I work tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday and I have payday off, which is going to work out so lovely because I have a lot of crap to get done for my car. My husband is actually checking out my car now. He said the brake pads do not look as bad as it sounds, but we're just going to replace them anyway. Since I planned out the budget for my car, already had it worked in the budget, already had planned to spend money on it, just go ahead and do it. It's probably due for it anyway. So we're going to get all of that done. And um, I'm just going to maybe chill out for the rest of the night. 
the rest of the evening. I might go play some games or something. I don't know. House is clean. My husband helped do stuff today because he he knows how stressed out I am about everything. So, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go enjoy my day. I hope you guys are having a lovely Saturday, and I will see you guys soon. So it's Sunday morning. I have coffee going on here. I'm also feeding my little buddy Onyx over here. One down, two to go. They are about four weeks old. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to start weaning them off of milk and formula and onto regular food. They already have tea. But um, the vet kind of just recommends wait just another week or two and introduce them slowly to actual food. We're going to start with the wet canned food and then go to the um, dry foods so they can keep their teeth sharpened. Um, ignore the dryer in the background. I know it's loud. I'm sorry. My appliances suck at the moment, but that's the least of my worries. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the Walking Dead Marathon is on right now because you have you know the new season starting next week so all week long it's gonna be nothing but the walking dead cross um i have to go to work in a little while my daughter kara is gonna pick me up and then we're gonna go out to that pizza place i was talking about later uh pizza five are you done come here are you done kitty yeah so uh let me go get the rest of these little babies fed and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So you had donuts in your house. What did you say, Annie? I totally lost her just now. I, I said poo-poo. <laughs> what? She said poo-poo from the loud house. She is just going off about something. Annie. Poo-poo. Poo-poo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But what is it about the forest you were talking about just now? Poo-poo. Poo-poo in the forest. Yeah. I... <laughs> Poo-poo in the forest. Poo-poo in the forest. Poo-poo in the forest. We're going to poo-poo in the forest. That's <laughs> all there is to it, I guess. free pizza to your employees of the franchise that you know it's gonna be busy and packed. I've already ran into like the people that I already know. May May over here. It is crazy loud in here so I apologize about the background noise but um pepperoni. kids got pepperoni and cheese to traditional pizzas and I've got a gluten free crust um low fat parmesan cheese or low fat mozzarella cheese I'm sorry Tons and tons of veggies. Jane is grabbing our drinks right now. Oh, this pizza is so good. I can I don't even wanna. I'm trying to wait. I eat like half of my pizza. I'm trying to wait till my husband and Lucy get here because we had to make two car trips to get everybody here. Annie, Jane, and I got here first, got in and got our pizza. My husband and Lucy are at the door right now. There's like a huge line. They're working their way through, going to get their pizza. And I was trying to save a little bit of my pizza so, you know, we could actually get together. That may not happen. It was so good. I might tear it up right now. All right. It's so This is bad. I hope it's not them either. That would literally kill me. Like all the crap you went through already this this month. Is he asking who it is? He's asking them who, if there's not. I, I want to know if there's a, a red a red Hana. Because if there's a red freaking Hana, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Daddy with Jeffrey. Daddy's with Jeffrey. Yes, honey. Everything's gonna be all right. Honey, everything's fine. We just gotta get turned around. That's all. 
just got turned. Yeah, turn That's around. a bad accident. Maybe he can, can he? No, it'd be a red Honda. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So that's not. not that. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't help that they're not answering their phone either. No. Like what the crap? I'm gonna yeah. kill him. I'm going to kill him and stab him and hurt him and oh my god, make me you stop know, and ask you know, a police officer. You know that's you in the freaking you know, wreck. Okay, well, <laughs> that's not some video, right? Oh god, I, I don't know think you were. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey. I go. If that's you in that wreck, I'm gonna kill you. You need to answer your daggum phone. Scare me like that. Jesus. I know. I can't. Oh man. Blood moon. Wait, wait, wait. It's a blood moon. That's a pretty. I'm trying to get the moon really, really pretty. That's a blood moon. Not that we know our husbands are okay. Um. Now there's a blood moon. There's a blood moon out tonight. That is Did gorgeous. I, I'm trying to. That's, a, oh, it's That's creepy. It's called a I don't think it's going to pick up on camera very well, but hang on. I might get in a certain spot. Is it bad? When you get home, you'll be able to see it. Oh, yeah. I know it's bad. That is beautiful, though. I'm trying to get it in. How, how it's often is it? It's behind CC's. CC's not coming to you in your roundness. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. There we go. I can oh, barely see it, but I it's... Say it, say it. I think the moon has gotten bigger. Yeah. It's not showing up very big on the camera, but in real life, like, it's massive. It's a blood moon. That is beautiful, though. It looks awesome. So gorgeous. What causes the blood moon? It's just... Wait, don't get too mad. His phone probably just died or something. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh, everybody's jumping out. Hang on. Everybody's out of the car. Ugh. There was a really, really bad accident, and Kara thought she saw her Jeffrey's car. So she stopped and asked. We've been here for a while. Okay. And then she got mad because Jeffy wouldn't answer the phone. <laughs> But yeah. I was gonna say we need to go buy one. So it's Monday morning. Um, I didn't post this last night like I wanted to because I wanted to have this with me in case something happened at the school today. I'm not gonna go looking for trouble or anything like that, but in case I needed some type of evidence for anything, you know, I, I'll have my phone. Um, and then plus I can show you guys after. So everything will probably be up, um, either later today or tonight. And I'm really sorry about that guys, but my schedule lately has been really crazy. And of course I appreciate my daughter helping out wherever she can. And that kind of affects what I have to do here too sometimes, but that's okay. It'll all flow over soon. We were pricing some of the car parts last night and it's going to get really expensive, but I can still pull it off. I'm not worried about money right now at this point. Um, I planned, I anticipated my entire paycheck and I get paid in a couple days. I, I planned that entire check to go do nothing but car repairs. So, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. I have to get my car back on the road. Um, I've got my coffee going on. Uh, kids are getting ready for school and my daughter is going to be here maybe about 45 minutes roughly. She always comes a little bit early so we can get the kids in the car and go because she understands her sisters perfectly well. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so nothing happened this morning, which is good, in a way. I could not speak with the principal because she was unavailable when I went to the office. I left a note for her to call me. Um, something else happened regarding this parent and her child that here's the thing. I'm not sure I want to pursue this any further because it might make things worse for her child. Her child is Annie's age, around Annie's age. And, um, we witnessed some issues with the mother being verbally abusive towards her daughter. And... 
other people have noticed it and it has been reported. But if I take my issue any further, it might make things worse for her child. And that's the last thing I want to do. I don't want to put her daughter in an even worse off position than she already is in. Because, I mean, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I do know what I heard. And what I heard is nothing you should ever say to a little kid. Um, it's, it goes along the lines with threatening physical harm. I mean, it's, it's not spanking or whooping your butt or anything like that. Because, trust me, I have kids. I know how things can get. I, I'm not talking about stuff like that. I'm not talking about you know, soft core discipline or anything like that. And even if you don't believe in spanking, that's fine. But, um, I don't disagree with people who spank. I don't agree with people who spank. I, it, there, there's a fine line for me. Whatever, this isn't here or there. But, this goes far beyond spanking. And she's threatened to slap her face. She's threatened to do some other stuff, and um, other people have heard it as well, and it's already been reported. Um, so I don't know how far I want to pursue this because it might make it bad for the little girl involved. So it's one of those really gray areas that you have to be careful with. I do want to follow up with the principal about the situation, and I will bring up this matter at hand, not only regarding Annie, but regarding this little girl. And expressing my concerns because at this point this probably is the only thing I can do right now like I don't want to call children's services on her because even though it's probably deserved a they already called them they because the schools have tied with child protective services if anything goes wrong with a child that's who they call first um, believe it or not if uh, you know my story behind Lucy's rash and why they called children's services on me that one time yeah, they don't even call the parents first. They call child protective child protective services first. Um, but it was um, yeah. I'm not sure how far I want to take this, but I will follow up with the principal at the very least, and see where we can go from there, and kind of touch base and get on the same page with how adult bullying will not be tolerated from anybody at all. But, um, I guess that's all I've got right now. I'm, I got a lot of process at, at the moment. It's just, there's a, a bigger picture here than just Annie and I. And what occurred to Annie was very, very wrong. What occurred to my daughter, Kara, was very, very wrong. But I can either pursue this and hope it doesn't get worse for the other lady's daughter, or not pursue it and hope it doesn't happen again. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to definitely talk with the principal. I left a note for her to call me, and hopefully I'll speak with her today. Anyway, I will definitely let you guys know what's going on with that, and hopefully the next vlog you guys see will be regarding my car parts, because I get paid in two days. Um, for those of you who are coming by my channel and leaving awesome comments and subscribing, thank you so much. It really means a lot, even though I can't... Um, I, I have to get caught up with comments because my work schedule is crazy, but I do see everything on my phone. I can flip through, and I'm really, really happy you guys are stopping by and viewing our life. It gets crazy. It gets nuts, let me tell you guys. But um, thank you. Thank you guys for your support. I really, I really do appreciate it so much. Um, anyway, I will see you guys soon. Bye.